No, there are people that have that same hair color, that kind of thing, but nobody here looks exactly like the person next to them. And uh, in regards to myself, I'm glad that's the case because I'm not that good looking. And so what I want you to know today, and what I think I want you to know today, if there's only one thing I want you to remember, it's this. That the world is going to try to change you and who you are. But that you have the ability to change the world instead. Amen. It gives you the ability to do whatever it is God has called you to do. He has placed a personality in you. He has placed an attitude in you to accomplish that which he intends for you to accomplish. And so I want to do two things today. I want to tell you that and also tell you that don't let anyone take that away from you. You're going to come, into, come across people your whole life. They're going to say, you can't do that. You shouldn't do that. You're not capable of that. You're not smart enough. You're not strong enough. You're not capable. I tell you, that's a lie. Because the God that lives in you can accomplish anything. And if the God that lives in you can accomplish anything, if you'll submit to him, you can accomplish anything he sets your mind to. Amen? Amen. Yes. All right. So I want to prove this to you today, that you are who God made you to be, out of the book of Daniel chapter 1. And I used to work here by the cord, so if I trip and fall on my face, I try not to laugh a lot. Verse 7. Then the commander of the officials assigned new names to them. And to Daniel, he assigned the name Belshazzar, to Hananiah, Shadrach, to Mishael, Meshach, and to Azariah, Abednego. I'm going to spend some time here because I want, you, I want to talk to you about who they are versus who the world was trying to name them. Daniel was named Daniel when he was born. Hananiah, Hananiah when he was born. Mishael, Mishael when he was born. Azariah, Azariah when he was born. Daniel literally means God is my judge. Hananiah, the Lord God, shows grace. Michelle literally means who is like God. And Azariah, the Lord helps. These are the names that they were given. They were given names that proved that God judges, that God shows grace, that God helps those that belong to him. But the world, Babylon, when they were brought from their country into Babylon, the Babylonian king tried to rename them, in fact did rename them, to emulate, to look like the world that they had been brought into. He changed their name, Daniel, to Belshazzar, which means Bel protect his life. Bel was the chief Babylonian god, and so he tried to change him from believing this thing about who he was to believing this idol was who he was. Hananiah to Shadrach, which means under the command of Aku, the moon god of Babylon. Mishael, who is like Aku, again the moon god of Babylon. And Azariah, servant of Nabu, the Babylonian god of learning and reading. Why do I tell you this? I tell you this because this is what the world intends to do to you. And I don't, I'm not up here trying to be pessimistic or to cast a bad shadow or to, to make you dread, but to tell you that at some point, if they haven't tried already, the world is going to try to take the identity that God gave you and replace it with the identity the world wants you to carry. And in fact, some of us may have already submitted to that to some degree. Let me ask you this question. This is probably be simpler. How many of you guys recognize that there's something wrong with the world today and you're not sure how to fix it? But you want to. God has an answer for that. And you know what an answer for that is? You. The problem that you that weighs you down, the thing that you see in society that no one else may seem interested in, is very likely the God, the thing God created you to be the solution to that you wish you didn't care. And there are people in this room that have a reputation that you're proud of, and you should be. But we've been called to be a people of good reputation. It says here, the king said, now I have heard about you. I have heard about you. And then in verse 15, 
It says that he tried everything else before calling Daniel into that room. Why did Daniel get audience? Daniel got audience with the king because of the reputation that he had. I was raised by my papa, my grandpa, and he was a pretty hard man, Marine Corps, drill sergeant in Korea, in the Korean War. He was a tough old bird. He told me one time, he said, Jim Bob, this is what he called me, he said, somebody used to call me that. He said, Jim Bob, you're only as good as your, your track record. You're only ever going to be as good as your track record. And what he meant by that is you're only going to be as good as your reputation. Because you're not going to get audience with people to help them or hurt them if they don't trust you. So we have to be a people like Daniel that trust, that, that other people trust. His reputation gave him the ability to speak into the lives of others. When I asked you guys a moment ago, how many of you guys have recognized a problem? Everybody in this room raised their hand that I saw. You're not going to get an opportunity to solve that problem if people don't trust you to be in the room 